Yeah, hi. Good evening, all of you. So today's my topic is uh, freelancing versus work from home. So the work from home usually I will be a full time uh, work from home opportunity. Okay. So or you can simply call it as uh, freelancing versus full time job opportunities. Okay. So uh, the current generation has. Uh, created lots of opportunities for uh, professionals and these have enabled them to work on the mode of their choice work on various kinds of modes of their choice so and this being the reason a lot of professionals are making shifts in their career so like working as a freelancer or maybe uh, in a full time role or maybe in a hybrid model okay but then they are not understanding the consequences of taking any wrong steps in any of these modes okay and they are also not realizing or understanding which kind of mode has to be picked on basis of their uh, uh, expertise or experience or salaries or, or the, the, there are various things to consider okay so but then the main goal here is to educate how to make a wise decision on uh, the, the the type of uh, working mode one should pick and also to explain the differences between freelancing and work from home okay so due to covid uh, uh, a lot of professionals has got an opportunity to work from home and and prior to this this was mostly uh, freelancing and work from office okay since uh, the covid uh, most majority majority have got an opportunity to work from home and uh, meanwhile people are uh, people people are getting confused between the freelancing and work from home okay there, there's lots of difference there is lots of difference and uh, still still you shouldn't be uh, uh, confused and making any decisions any wrong decisions okay and this being the reason so i have some meaningful uh, points to discuss okay so before we discuss the differences or uh, which one to pick let's understand uh, what is this uh, uh, full time full time job and uh, freelancing okay see in a full time job a uh, employer is going to hire you full time under their payroll okay and you are supposed to work for them from morning to evening or the number of hours they are going to define okay uh, and also the number of days that they are going to define okay and you will be paid regularly on a monthly basis okay and meanwhile you will enjoy all the benefits that company is providing to you such as uh, the health uh, insurances the pf accounts the special benefits or allowances for you as an employee of the organization okay and uh, when it comes to freelancing so a client or a company hires you on basis of the work or on an hourly basis considering your expertise so and you will be paid on basis of time or maybe the on basis of the work done work done and, and you will never be paid on a monthly basis when you are mostly see the, there there could be rare cases but freelancing works on basis of work delivered and on basis of the task uh, sorry on basis of time that you are spending you can charge on a time basis as well okay and uh, in this mode in freelancing so you will be uh, completely in your control okay so you 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 can decide how many hours a day you have to work and how many days a week you have to work okay and while you work as a freelancer so you will not avail any benefits from the company or from the client such as health insurance or pf accounts right so these are the two two major differences and if we if we have to discuss uh, uh, about the work okay and other aspects related to this working modes okay uh, you should be uh, able to decide which one should be the best career option for you okay so let us start with working okay so when it comes to work in a uh, full time job in full time job you are expected to work on everything that's been assigned to you okay so and uh, comes on your scope of work okay you are supposed to report to your manager or to your boss on a daily basis or weekly basis whichever is being asked for okay and uh, you will not have choice so if it's in your scope so you have to 
work on it work on it and when it comes to freelancing so the work will be completely in your control you can decide which project to consider and which type of work or the task you have to take okay and uh, your work will be uh, completely in your control okay second thing is uh, the pay okay so if you are working in a full time role you will be paid monthly okay you will be paid a salary the ctc or a salary that uh, you have discussed and agreed with an employer you have signed an agreement with an employer okay and uh, uh, you will never be paid on basis of the work that you have done at, at your job at your organization when you are working as a full time employee okay and uh, the pay might consist of sometimes uh, uh, some uh, deductions such as the pf deductions uh the applicable tax deductions if you fall into a tax lap so the applicable tax deductions the tds deductions so when it comes to freelancing so the pay uh, will be on basis of the work that you do okay so uh, so so if you are able to uh, uh complete n number of tasks okay so you will be billing for all those n number of tasks and and you will be paid so and you can uh, you, you can get in terms of taking a payment in advance or will be paid uh, after the work is done or maybe uh, so you will be you, you will be paid on basis of hours as well okay you can decide how it has to be paid and if you are continuously working with a client and if if you are earning or if you are billing uh, billing uh, frequently and if it is above the uh, tax amount non taxable above the non taxable amount so the company or the client would deduct a tds the applicable tds for your pay okay and the next thing is expectations so so if you are uh, working in a payroll <coughs> so the companies expect you to work in w- w- work from morning to evening so 9 to 6 okay so the flexibility in working will be a rare case with most of the organizations mostly all the organizations would expect you to work continuously from morning to evening with minimal breaks like lunch breaks or maybe the the the, the other breaks okay and uh, and you will have uh, no option to skip the responsibilities you have to deliver everything that's been assigned for you so when it comes to freelancing so you will have the flexibility in work hours okay so you can decide how many hours you want to work okay and uh, how many days in a week or a month you want to work okay and you don't have to take an approval or uh, th- there is no some cu- compulsion there is no compulsion that you have to work uh, this many number of hours a week okay so especially when you are paid on a hourly basis you can decide so you will be billing only for the number of hours that you have worked on the project and uh, <clears throat> so when it comes to learning okay so in learning uh, so especially if you are in a very initial stages of your career okay so working in working in working in an organization in a full time uh, uh, job will be the best option okay so because you get an opportunity to interact with the peers uh, the the various uh, people in the organization and your learning will be better okay and if you are already too many years experienced and uh, you know things very well it doesn't matter much whether you work as a freelancer or as a full time employee okay so when it comes to earning so your earnings as a full time employee will be the ctc that you would have discussed and agreed with your employer okay so sometimes uh, so so if you are meeting the goals or targets as defined by your employer you would get the incentives as well okay so there won't be any ups and downs with your earnings so when it comes to uh, uh, freelancing okay when it comes to freelancing so your earnings will have ups and downs and it all depends on the projects the projects the number of projects you are handling the number of hours you are capable of working on a project are delivering the amount of work that you are delivering for your client okay and earnings will be completely in your control as well okay so now the 
so this this should this, this should to an extent help you to understand which one should be the best option for you okay so when it comes to uh, uh, full time role full time job okay so related to leaves or uh, working hours you might have to seek a permission from your manager or a boss okay when it comes to freelancing so you are your own boss you can decide uh, how many hours you can work how many days you can work and you don't need uh, any permissions for it okay and now uh, who should consider freelancing and who should be opting for full time jobs okay so if you are still not clear with it i'll help you how to decide if you should go with a freelancing or a full time job okay so here are few points which you should consider to decide should you go for freelancing or a full time job option okay so the first thing that you have to consider is years of experience that you have got okay second thing so the skills that you have acquired or the type of skills that you have acquired the number of skills and the type of skills that you have acquired third thing so you are expertise in the domain you are expertise in the domain fourth thing your financial stability and commitments okay so fifth thing your mindset so your mindset sixth thing is uh maybe uh, you are time for the job especially if you are a uh, housewife or uh, if you have got too many responsibilities or working on too many things okay so let me discuss uh, one by one okay so experience so how is experience playing a role in deciding whether should you opt for a freelance career or a full time job okay see if you if you are too many years experienced okay and uh, if you are still employable by the employers and if you are making good ctc which is much much higher than the earnings that you make out of freelancing so then better you have to go with the full time job opportunities second things uh, skills the number of skills and type of skills okay so not all the skills that you acquire in your work are going to help you to start a freelancing career okay certain skills will never enable you to start a freelancing career okay there are few domains uh, such as digital marketing okay so web designing web development graphic designing content writing so these are the most uh, uh, important skills for freelancing careers or i would say i let me put this in this way so these are the skills that will enable people to get more freelancing opportunities so uh, skills like testing okay uh might not get more opportunities as compared to the of digital marketing or content writing or graphic designing or web designing skills okay so on basis of this so so if you are able to grab too many opportunities on basis of the number of skills and type of skills so you can and and definitely you have to consider the earnings that you make okay you cannot simply uh, uh go for freelancing just because you have the type of skill that expects or that has too many freelance opportunities okay and then the other thing that you have to consider is uh, the earnings okay so the earnings and the benefits okay so so if you are in a payroll you will be able to get your salary plus a lot of other benefits such as uh, the health insurance the allowances or uh, or or any other uh, incentives okay or maybe on uh, basis of company's revenues and uh, other advantages you might you might see some benefits okay so you have to consider this part as well okay and another thing is so if you are a housewife and if you cannot put too many hours into the work okay if you cannot dedicatedly work on a 9 to 6 job okay or if your employer expecting you to work at one stretch between 9 to 6 without any flexible hours okay so then uh, you might have to go for a freelancing career the freelancing career would be the best option for people who cannot continuously invest time in the job okay and uh, then comes you might have to also consider your financial status and insecurities 
okay so if you have uh, other sources of income okay uh, then opting for a freelancing career might not be that risky as compared to no sources of income okay and if you have too many financial burdens or or if you have to pay too many bills every month so then uh, uh, opting only a freelancing career would put you in risk okay so make a decision so what kind of career uh, would be useful and and, and and you cannot get into freelancing so uh, just like that you might need uh, uh, you, you need to have a very good network and uh, you should possess good selling skills as well so that's when your freelancing would be uh, more fruitful okay and uh, your mindset also plays a crucial role so if, if you want to become independent and your own boss so then then freelancing would be the right option so considering that you don't have any financial pressures and uh, you possess good skills to start your freelancing you have good network okay so it's not one thing that you have to consider you have to consider so your uh, skills second thing you have to consider uh, uh, opportunities the type of skill that you have acquired okay the third thing so you, your efforts in selling your services okay and uh, your financial stability then you have to consider the advantages of uh, uh, being into uh, being in a payroll and uh, working as a freelancer okay and uh, you have to also consider uh, your time for the job so considering all this you can decide which one is best for you okay and uh, so the survey so if i have to speak about the survey so uh, one of the recent surveys says uh, uh, only a very few uh, very a small percentage of people get into complete freelancing okay otherwise they will be working on the full time job plus parallelly they will get onto a freelancing so they never uh, get into complete freelancing okay so people who get into complete freelancing usually will be many years experienced professional with uh, they, they, they don't need to depend on anybody to deliver the project or work and uh, they should be able to deliver independently plus the main factor is they will be making a lot as compared to they will, their earning will be very significant as compared to that of the ctc okay so plus they love to work in this flexible hours okay they don't want to be uh, uh, they don't like to work from morning 9 to 6 so that's when people completely get into freelancing work otherwise maybe 60 to 70 percent of the people will be working on their regular jobs and plus parallelly pursue the freelancing opportunities so i hope uh, you have got some clarity about freelancing and the full time job the work from home the differences you understood the differences and uh, you should be also able to decide which one is best for you considering the benefits considering the risk factors okay considering the learning opportunities okay so considering all of this and and plus majorly you have to consider your time as well so if uh, you don't have uh, the biggest responsibility i mean like if you don't have the financial burden okay and you have got limited time then freelancing would be the best career option for you where you will be building on basis of the work done okay and you will be doing the work whenever you are free okay so you can take the call now whichever is comfortable and doable or easy for you okay thanks for watching this video so if you are watching this on youtube please do subscribe to our channel bye